Hey everyone, welcome to the new rotation of albums. This one we just listened to, a very nice album by Hanabie. But now we are at Bandmate. Now the collection is complete. I mean, this is the re-release version, I think. Pretty nice and slick design, if I can show it like this. And yeah, everything pretty simple design wise yeah if you just didn't know i just listened to everything they have again this one i still have to listen to again um let's get to the new uh not the new the first the very first album i'm kind of nervous because yeah i heard good things but you know it's the very first album and knowing how they evolved over time. Um, I would say I definitely love their latest releases and I think they're getting better and better with every new release. But still, I want to check out where they came from. So here we go. Be Okay by Bandmate. Uh, I was also recommended this live performance. So let's check that out as well. Here we go. This one is a P&D. Not square anymore. <laughs> I have to say I'm not paying a lot of attention to the music video, um, but the song it's uh, a lot better than I expected. I like it a lot, and also yeah, I'm impressed by the what. I'm not sure if I could say impressed, but I would expect like the mix to sound a bit less full and crisp, uh, but not at all. Actually, really, really nice sound, and yeah, you can already hear like Misa doing her crazy lines. Yeah, already catchy, but still already that hint of like bluesiness in it in parts. Really nice song so far. And, like, very uplifting and positive vibe. I love. Already insane vocal production and like harmonies going on. Hello. 
already the very first song has like a slow, beautiful breakup. Okay, uh, I mean, fantastic song, really, really great. Like I said, I'm kind of surprised at how good it sounds. Um, I'm not really sure if they did some, you know, remixing or reproduction when they did this re-release version or if it, this is actually the same audio than it was in the original release or if this is just, yeah. Let me know. Is this exactly the same and just two bonus tracks or is there some some work done besides that? Man, I have to say, fantastic song. Um, yeah, like I said, I really love the positive, uplifting vibe and yeah, but still has a really like punky vibe to it. Man, yeah, that makes me very excited for the rest of the album. Because this one I enjoyed very much. I would even like put this in my top bandmate songs. Because yeah, it's just that vibe. It's very enjoyable. But we will see about the rest of the album. For now, let's check out the uh, live performance. Already, yeah, like over eight years ago. And I think there's also a good uh, something I want to ask. Because I think Miko didn't play guitar or like just started and didn't contribute any guitar parts or like not in some songs but in some she did let me know which songs because to me this song it didn't sound like it was missing any guitar uh <laughs> yeah but yeah misa did a great job in that as well let's check out this live one not the best quality as it seems but Miku doesn't hold a guitar. I really like these kind of smaller venues when there's like direct interaction with the crowd. I mean, they're standing right in front of them, there's no space in between. It's even still with the sound quality, you can hear Misa so great. Oh, 
you can hear the audience. Miku putting in work. already crazy. We could hear even at the end when Miki was doing the wow wow that she had like some of that more aggressive style even back then. And yeah, I love it every time when it comes up in songs like Why Why Why, for example. Yeah, I mean fantastic performance. I mean Miko not playing a guitar in this live performance, let me know if it's on the studio. Or if the song doesn't have one, and then it doesn't need one, in my opinion. Really love the positive vibe of this. So we will see about the next songs. I'm very excited. So thanks for watching, and see you then. Bye.